Hi everybody, Dr. Alfonso here coming to you from the Bankson Center for Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery. Given the fact that patients are pretty much limited to their houses uh, the next few weeks, we wanted to do some informational seminars or webinars so people can get a better understanding of some of the neat advances in cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery. We're gonna do these probably twice a week and highlighting different topics. So we're really excited to be able to provide some educational material for some people uh, who are interested to pass the time and learn more about all of the great things that we provide here at the office for you. So today's topic re uh, deals with a surgical procedure called an abdominoplasty or a tummy tuck. And we originally titled it, or I came up with the title, Not Your Mom's Tummy Tuck. And the reason is, is that this surgery, which has been around for many years, has gone through some really significant advances in treatment and technology to make the recovery a significantly better experience for patients who have the surgery. So starting off with what is an abdominoplasty or a tummy tuck? It's a very common surgery performed by board certified plastic surgeons throughout the United States. It's one of the top procedures that's performed here. And the goal of the surgery is to remove loose, stretchy skin from the abdominal area and tighten up the deeper core muscles, which often get stretched with pregnancies, as well as women and men who have gained and lost a lot of weight over time. By doing both of those things, it allows us as plastic surgeons to give an improved shape to patients in their waistline. In many patients, I also combine liposuction, which removes fat only with an abdominoplasty surgery, most often in the hip area and the back line. So that surgery has been the basic surgery for many years. So what are the, some of the new techniques and advances in that? Well, number one is the combination of liposuction in many areas. In fact, many patients uh, end up having liposuction done almost circumferentially around the waist to or in order to really deliver that 360 degree hourglass shape that we want to impart to patients. It doesn't really add a lot in terms of the recovery from a pain perspective, and it does enhance the shape overall. Some of the biggest advances have taken place in the area of preoperative care as well as intraoperative treatment. So what I mean by that is here at the Bankson Center, we get our patients started on medications that have been shown to re de reduce pain after the procedure. We actually start these before, before the surgery so that they're in your system and helpful during the procedure itself. In addition, we have vitamin packs, which have been great to help patients boost their immune system and boost all of the uh, natural minerals and vitamins in their body to help with the healing and recovery phase. Some of the most exciting things take place actually in the operating room, and that's where our great board-certified anesthesiologists, who are your uh, physicians that put you to sleep for the surgery, during surgery and right before we start, do a procedure called a TAP block, which is spelled T-A-P. So the TAP block has been around for a while, and because we have the utilization of ultrasound resources here at our office, it allows our anesthesia doctors to inject a long-acting local anesthetic into your deep muscle layer. They do it specifically in the muscle layer because they can see it with the ultrasound. What that does is really numb the nerves of your abdominal muscle layer, which uh, are sensitive to the pain after the procedure. What this has allowed for is a really quicker recovery. Patients are often saying they have a pain scale of zero to 10. They're often reporting that they're anywhere from a two and a half to about a four and a half. Whereas before we were utilizing this, it was more like six to seven. It also allows patients to get up and walk much sooner than uh, traditional uh, procedures without doing the tap block. It's a great procedure to have performed. We've seen a big improvement in patients. And one of the benefits is that patients who have the tap block often take very few of, uh, of, of their prescription medications or, and narcotics. So we're always trying to get patients to the point where they can recover from surgery without having to do a lot of uh, prescription medication. So this has been an exciting advancement in the techniques of preoperative care as well as care in the operating room and post-operative care. We're really excited to be able to offer that to our patients now because we've seen the benefits that it can provide in terms of recovery. Oftentimes patients will ask, how long do I have to be home or not going back to work? And what I answer is it really depends on what you do for work. Most people who are in an office type position, a job where they're not lifting heavy things or strenuous activity, can be back to work in somewhere between six to eight work days off. Uh, this is also, again, improved now with being able to perform the tap block for patients and they find that they're getting back to work a little bit sooner. We often restrict activity afterwards when it comes to exercise and we, uh, we wait for a few weeks until to see how you're doing, but we definitely encourage walking after surgery that day as well as every day afterwards. 
I'm really excited to be able to share some new insights into the advancements in plastic surgery, specifically relating to abdominoplasties or tummy tucks. During the time that our office is not open for patients, we have an email address that is available for patients who have questions about this surgery, the tap block, or really any other surgery that uh, we provide here, anything that they might be thinking of in addition to skin care as well as injectables. The, web, uh, the email address is askthesurgeon, A-S-K-T-H-E-S-U-R-G-E-O-N at bankstoncenter.com. Thanks, everybody. I hope this was informative, and we hope to get back with you in a few more days with another uh, educational webinar.